The holidays are over, everybody got their brand new Blackstone, and now they want to get outside and they want to cook some stuff. So last week's video, I showed you guys how to do hibachi. That's probably one of the most requested items that I get is how to do hibachi, rice technique and all that kind of stuff. Well, today I want to show you how to do smash burgers, kind of like a smash burger 101 course, if you will, but it's free. I'm like the Oprah of smash burger information. So today on the show, I'm gonna show you how to do a smash burger. You can take it and make it however you like. There's gonna be some tips, gonna be some tricks, gonna be some things to watch out for. So, hey, you won't wanna miss it, let's go. The class is now in session. I'm not actually doing a class. There's probably people out there that do smash burgers way better than me, but this is how I do them. And I've learned a few things over the years. We got some 80-20 ground chuck. Really need 80-20 here, guys. Don't do no 90-10 or 95-5. And I got about two pounds right here. All right, so one thing I see a lot of folks do is they make their balls for their smash burgers a little bit too large, okay? Uh, one thing that I like to use if I don't wanna use my scale, kitchen scale, although it's nice to have if you wanna make everything kind of uniform, a quarter cup measuring device, just like this right here. And I just come in here and I just kind of fill it. I pack it in kind of good. And so, you know, just like, just like say, two, 2 2.75, 2.75, 2.70, <laughs> .70. shoo Very easy, don't have a kitchen scale or don't want to fool with it. Use a quarter cup measuring, measuring device, okay? I want to measure all of these out and then I'll come right back. One more important thing, I don't, you know, I, see, I make these into balls, but I, honestly, I don't really roll it real tight. It's mainly just to, you know, just kind of get them into a ball because it just presses a little bit easier. So again, you know, you don't want to, you're not making a meatball here. You're just trying to, trying to achieve a relatively uniform ball. Take a break from making your balls, okay? Come on over here to the black zone. Let's warm it up, okay? We want it, let's set it on low for right now. Right before we're going to cook, we're going to ramp it up. We want this griddle top to be very, very hot. We want smoke to be coming off of the top. That's gonna to get us that ultimate crust, okay? All right, let's talk about smashers and what I use. Um, you can use many things. You could use a spatula uh, or you can get you a dedicated smasher. And this is one that I kind of like. It's called the Burger Smasher. It has some heaviness to it. And overall, I like this the best. Um, if you don't have this at the time, you can always use a, uh, this, a spatula. You do need to take something else to kind of mash down, really, really get that really get that pressure, really, really get that contact patch, okay? But overall, you know, I kind of like this. Again, there'll be a link in the description, also in my, uh, my link tree, so the Burger Smasher. All right, so our top is getting warmed up. We're about ready to go, but a few things I want to address, okay? And things that you want to go ahead and have ready. You want to get everything prepped. You want your mise en place, you want it ready. I suggest getting, this is what I'm working with right here, Got a, it's a black stone tray. Love these things. Bring everything out. You can use it as a, for raw meat. You can use it as your materials. You need to have everything ready because these smash burgers literally go fast. You don't really have any time to prep anything else. Uh, go back and get something else. Pretty much what you got, that's what you got to get. All right. One thing I like to go ahead and do, if you like mayonnaise, like myself, I like to go ahead and put my mayonnaise on my bread. If you want your buns toasted, I suggest going ahead and doing that kind of first, then doing your smash burgers because again, everything goes so fast. Smoke is a rolling. Let's see here, there you go, yeah. Nice and hot, y'all. That's what you're looking for. All right, let's get our balls down. So it's gonna come right here. Space them out really nice. All right, now you take your parchment paper and your smasher. And you just want to come in here and you want to hold it for like 10 seconds. I also like to kind of just move it back and forth. Helps really seal those edges. Or at least I think it does. And boom. Look at that. Perfect. And then all that grease, it holds your parchment paper. You ready? There we go. There we go. And boom. Kind of move this around. There we go, look at that. See all those nice holes? I like to season this up a little bit, a little bit of this fancy burger seasoning, just like that. And 
Come here with your spatula, like to kind of go backwards at it. Look at that crust. Kind of go backwards, come at that crust, let it come off, boom. Just like this, and boom. Nice crust. Now our cheese of choice. I like to use Kraft Deluxe. That is my favorite. And that's it. I like to come here. Put your burger top on top, that'll get it nice and steamed, just like that. And there you are. You got a burger patty that's going to be about the same size as your bun, you know? Hangs over just a little bit, you see those nice crispies? You just crushed smash burgers. Y'all, that's it. Pretty simple. Smash burgers shouldn't be intimidating. I know some people, you know, they don't want to mess up, you know, that kind of thing, but hey, Easy peasy peasy. No issue at all. No issue at all. Without further ado, we need to try these things. And I want to take this one off the top. Now we put mayonnaise, um, you know, at the beginning, but I like more mayonnaise. A little bit more mayonnaise. A little bit more mayonnaise. Now I like to take whole pickles like this and slice them. It's just the way I like to do things. And we're just going to come in there. A few of these pickles. Actually, a lot of those pickles. I like a little squirt of ketchup, just like that. Now let's give it a try, y'all. Mm. This right here, mm. crispy, a little crispy bits. My favorite by far. That Kraft Deluxe cheese melts so good too. Mm. Mm. This is where it's at, y'all. Y'all hope this video serves you well. I hope this makes you a smash burger pimp on your Blackstone. Hey, y'all don't run off yet. There's gonna be a video right here, or it could be right here. Check it out if you wanna up your hibachi game.